What's going on guys, it's Life Offshore and we're here with another video and today we'll be comparing two catamarans again. I know you guys enjoyed last time but they won't be as performance, they'll be more fishing, they'll be the boats that you want to be on when there's rough seas out there, five, six, seven, even eight footers, those are the boats you want to be on and it'll be Freeman's 42 and Invincible's 40 foot catamaran. And before we jump into the video, make sure you guys hit that like button, it really helps me out and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So as you guys know, Freeman's been around for a while now, and they've been innovating and changing the way we look at catamarans. Um, some people might ask, why not a V-Hull? Because catamarans have a few better qualities than V-Hulls. So one of them might be that they ride better into rough head seas, or they're more stable platforms as they don't roll as much, or they have better fuel economy. And not to mention the deck space. They have a lot more deck space than a V-Hull. These are some of the things that have driven some of the monohaw guys to get catamarans, especially these big buyers that are paying over half a million dollars for these boats. Without further ado, let's get right into some of the numbers and some of the specs of the Freeman 42. So Freeman's 42 has an overall length of 42 feet and a beam of 11 feet 9 inches and a dry weight of 14,500 pounds, but it has a ready to fish weight of 17,500 pounds. It has a fuel capacity of 800 gallons, the Freeman cruises at around 45 miles per hour, burning at around at around 0.9 gallons per mile. Where the Freeman shine is its top end speed. For such a big heavy boat, it is wickedly fast. It's got a top speed of 80 miles an hour with quad mercury 400s. With the 450s, I don't even know what they run, but maybe 86, 87 miles an hour, 85 miles an hour, somewhere in between there. Maybe a little bit more, maybe close to 90 miles an hour. But for such a heavy boat, the top speed on this Freeman is awesome. They're known for riding super well into rough seas, um, especially into head seas. The Freeman is known for crushing those waves and no matter how choppy the day gets, you know, these boats can go out in eight foot seas if necessary. Obviously, you wanna check the weather. You don't really wanna be out in seas like that. It makes, makes fishing no fun. As far as Invincible's 40, it has an overall length of 40 feet, two inches and a beam of 12 feet which makes it just about two feet smaller than the Freeman in length, but around three inches wider than the Freeman in beam. The boat weighs 15,000 pounds and has a fuel capacity of 640 gallons. Um, this can be extended with custom orders. What about the performance numbers on the Invincible? Well, it has a top speed of 71 miles an hour with quad 350s. I would imagine that it could get another six to eight more miles if they swap those 350s for the 400s. So a top speed of 77 to 79, maybe 80 miles an hour with quad 400s. Um, but with the 350, it cruises at about 40 miles per hour. Now let's compare prices of these boats. The Invincible runs around 650 to $700,000 brand new. If you were to order it the way you like it, uh, you might be able to get it cheaper at closer to 600,000 and there won't be any wait time for that boat. Well, I mean, the wait time on how long it takes to build, that, that'll that be the only wait time, but there's no one in line for those cats. Uh, Freeman, on the other hand, they have a waiting list of two years, and if you want the cat, it'll run you for almost around the same price as the Invincible, maybe closer to $700,000. The good thing is, is with that wait time, after you get the boat, if you wanna sell it, you know there's gonna be buyers that don't wanna wait that wait time, and they'll buy your used boat immediately, so that's a plus on the Freeman. Uh, in my opinion, I'm a Freeman guy, so I really like the product that they make. Invincible makes a nice boat, but if I were to choose, I would wait the two years for roughly around the same money. The Freeman is uh, the way to go in my opinion. Obviously, I can't afford either of these boats, but if you have the money and you want the boat brand new the way you like it and you want it immediately, go with the Invincible. If you don't mind waiting another two years for that boat, then you go with the Freeman. Thank you guys for watching the video. It's been Life Offshore, and make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Peace.